Okay, so May the 2nd, local elections are up, and I figured I would focus on Charlie Elfric, my Member of Parliament, the Member of Parliament for Dover and Deal. So, given that I don't have a very high opinion of Charlie Elfric on the best of days, I'm on my favourite website, dayworkforyou.com. Let's go through his voting record. Okay, so voting record, brief overview. <clears throat> Almost always voted against equal gay rights. Voted against the smoking ban. Generally voted against allowing marriages between people of the same sex. Generally voted against laws to promote equality and human rights. Shocking, I know, but he is the typical fucking conservative. Uh, voted against allowing terminally ill people to be given assistance to end their life. That's not an easy topic to go through. Um, I've spoken about this before on this channel um it's it's a difficult one i can't judge someone either way for having that opinion uh how charlie elfric voted on foreign policy okay so consistently voted for use of uk military forces in combat operations overseas this uh, essentially means he voted to fuck people over despite the fact that they had done nothing to us not a good thing to promote, especially as we're set to be leaving the European Union and we kind of need the rest of the world to, you know, trade with. Uh, voted against investigations into the Iraq war, meaning he allows that war criminal to walk freely. Consistently voted for replacing Trident with a new nuclear weapon system. I'm a bit of a hippie, but hey ho. Generally voted more EU integration. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Generally voted against more EU integration. Now, I've mentioned this before. That is a really odd thing because Dover has quite a large EU population. We have quite a number of people from Poland, from Czech Republic and Czechoslovakia, uh, Czechoslovakia here. Um, so the fact that he's voted against more integration is an odd one because it's most of his constituency. And again, that, that doesn't include Deal. Remember, it's Dover, Deal and surrounded villages. We're a sizable chunk. And with a gateway to the bloody UK. Uh, generally voted for a referendum on the UK's membership of the EU. People should always have a choice. Second referendum. Uh, consistently voted against strengthening the military. Now, I want to link that back to consistently voted for use of UK military forces. So, he'll send our boys and girls out there, but he won't make sure that they've got the right equipment. Or that they're adequately paid to risk their fucking lives for, you know, politicians. Interesting to keep in mind. Generally voted against a right to remain for EU nationals already living in the UK. This is something that has angered me incredibly about Brexit. These EU nationals, they work in hospitals, they work in care homes, they work in factories, they work on the fields. They're not taking uh, British people's jobs. They're doing them because British people aren't doing them. Now I say that, I work in a care home, I've worked in a number of care homes, with a number of foreigners, it was really easy to get those jobs. But English people aren't going for them. Foreigners are going for them. And I tell you right now, I hated working in factories. I hated every single second I was in the factory. But while the Polish people didn't think it was the best job ever, they still turned up and they turned up on time. That's more than I did most of the time. Uh, consistently voted for military action against Daesh. Take it how you want it, really. Uh, Charlie Elfric's vote on welfare and benefits. Now, I know from an email, uh, a couple of emails that we've had between each other, that Charlie Elfric is a big supporter of universal credits. And I've said before how disgusting and revolting universal credits are a very very simple twist test for every single politician it's a yes or no answer 
do you support universal credits? If the answer is anything other than fuck no, they do not deserve a vote. They do not look out for the best interest of this country. Charlie Elfrick loves universal credits. Um, okay, Charlie Elfrick consistently voted for reducing housing benefit for social tenants deemed to have exceeded bedrooms, which Labour described as the bedroom tax. Um, some of the dimensions for some of the homes around Dover and Deal, the the bedroom that puts you into that bedroom tax category, really they're just big wardrobes. But it's enough to tax people a little bit extra more. And as we found out over the years, many, many conservative politicians have been claiming expenses on family and loved ones who are having to go through the bedroom tax. Yeah. Fucking hypocrite. Uh, consistently voted against raising welfare benefits at least in line with prices. So again, while this man is spending over £100,000 in expenses that we are paying for, he won't even allow people who are bottom of the barrel to have enough money just to survive. That's the kind of shitbag this man is. Uh, consistently voted against paying higher benefits over long periods for those unable to work due to illness or disability. Again, piece of shit human being fucking over everyone. I apologise for people who don't like swearing, but this man really pisses me off. Uh, consistently voted for making local councils responsible for helping those in financial need afford their council tax and reduce the amount spent on such support. So if you're homeless, for example, or if you're, you've just lost your job, maybe you've just done your back in and you physically can't go to work. You need a bit of help with your council tax. Council tax, which has been going up. No. Charlie says, fuck you. Consistently voted for a reduction in spending on welfare benefits, meaning, yeah, less people get benefits, and those who are on benefits get less of them. Almost always voted against spending public money to create guaranteed jobs for young people who have spent a long time unemployed. I've been on a couple of these programs, and again, I've said this in previous videos, it makes me laugh that the EU have done more to get me into work than my own member of parliament. Because if you've been unemployed, say you're, you're just out of school, instead of going to college, because you might not be able to afford it, you, you might have that household where you can't afford to it, you have to find a job. Let's say you get a job in a factory. You say you're there for two, three years. Then let's say that the factory shuts down or just decides that they don't want you. Your only experience is in that one particular factory. And if you can't get one, if you can't get another job somewhere else, it can have a very, very negative effect. So programs like these that will, you know, you go in, you say, look, I'm thinking about this particular career path, but I'm going to need some help with it. There used to be a time when the job centre would say, OK, well, here's all the options for all the different training things that we can put you on. This could get you back into work. That was a brilliant thing. Charlie Elfrick, get it out. Charlie's voted on taxation. Consistently voted for raising the thresh threshold at which people start paying income tax. Meh. Almost always voted for increasing the rate of VAT. Let's face it, no one wants to be. It's an added tax. An added bloody tax. Still pisses me off. Almost always voted for higher taxes on alcohol. Fuck you very much, I love my whiskey. Consistently voted for higher taxes on plane tickets. I mean, it's all right for him, he's minted, but for the rest of us, it's just another kick to not have a holiday because we can't bloody afford it. Uh, voted for a mix of um, against lowering taxes on fuels for motor vehicles. So uh, 10 votes for 
uh, sorry, six votes for lowering uh, taxes on fuel, ten votes against. Um, that was just between um, 2010 and 2013. So, I mean, let's face it, we need to be going green. The Conservatives hate it, but we need to be going green. We haven't got long to dick about, less than 12 years now. Uh, consistently voted against increasing the tax rate applied to incomes over £150,000. I wonder why. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Consistently voted for encouraging occupational pensions. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing. Um... There we go. Almost always voted against a banker's bonus tax. Well, if I remember rightly, um, Charlie Elfric was a banker. So it would make sense that he still has some banker friends. And obviously, a banker's bonus, which is made on the hard backs of everyone else. Yeah, he wouldn't want that tax, would he? Consistently voted against annual tax on the value of expensive homes popularly known as the mansion tax now there's a lot of arguments for and against this um, sometimes uh, someone will have this massive home but they won't actually have that much cash but they have the big home so it's a mix it's not a simple one i can't really condemn it i want to being a hippie lefty but uh yeah i can't really i can't really vote it's it's, it's a murky topic um, his voting on health almost always voted against restriction, uh, restricting the provisional of services to private patients by the NHS. Almost always voted for reforming the NHS so GPs buy services on behalf of their patients. I mean, that's that's a difficult one. This. Okay, there's the. There's two more just in the brief overload, but these two together, they're, they're very slippery slopes, and it's a massive leap forward into that privatization of the NHS, which everyone needs to be worried about. Matt Hancock is all for it, Jeremy Hunt before him, and these are the kind of tactics that lead you in bit by bit. I don't know if you remember being told this story at school when you were younger, uh, you put a frog into a pot of boiling water, it will immediately jump out. You put a frog into tempered water and slowly increase the heat and it will boil to death. Well, that's what this is. Slow changes over time. Go back 30 years. Any of the shit that they do today, they would have been thrown out of office. But bit by bit, so they've gotten away with it. Um, Okay, the other two on the brief outlook. Uh, voted against smoking bans. Eh, again, hippie, do what to you. Uh, voted against allowing terminally ill people to be given assistance to the end of life. Um, it's a difficult topic. I've covered it before from my stance working in care, working in nursing homes. So, again, yeah. Uh, voting for education. Now, earlier this year, uh, Charlie Elfric voted again to take even more food away from children who come from low-income families. That should be fresh in every Dovorian's mind. It's important. Okay, so constantly, uh, consistently voted for greater autonomy for schools. Essentially, we don't know what they're teaching, but fuck it. We kind of need to know. I mean, look, it's an interesting debate to have if you want to take away exams. I personally have never been the type to worry about that sort of thing, but I do understand kids are getting worried and there's a lot of pressure on them. They're fucking kids. They shouldn't have pressure, for God's sake. Um, but we do need to know how they're doing. Uh, voted for raising England's undergraduate tuition fee cap to 9000 per year. So um, if you're a student, nine grand a year is a lot of money. Um, in years ago, when I worked in factories, um, I would work, I, 
I would work with a couple of English people who would just work every single day throughout their entire summer break and then live on a pittance trying to make that last throughout the rest of their term, throughout the rest of their school year. So raising the, the cap on, on, on education, well, that makes education harder to obtain because schools, colleges, universities can charge more. The more they charge, the more selective they will become with their students. If, for example, your parent only bring your parent or parents only bring in twenty thousand a year, well, that nine thousand a year just for tuition fees is going to go out the window. And if you can only work during the summer because you have to have a full time education, it's made a lot harder. And it's one of the sneakier ways that conservatives restrict and downgrade education for those who weren't lucky enough to be born into wealthy families. Uh, consistently voted for university tuition fees. Uh, consistently voted for ending financial support for some 16 to 19 year, old, 19 year olds in training and further education. Again, that links into uh, tuition fee cap. He's very, very, very pro wealthy. And Charlie Elfrick is the typical conservative politician. If you're not born into wealth, fuck you very much. Shut up and go away. If you're born into wealth and you've got enough to pay me, what do you fancy? I'd also like to point out Charlie Elfrick is still, at least to my knowledge, is still being investigated for rape. That's our MP. So, um, I will link this down below, um, theyworkforyou.com, fantastic website, absolutely love it. Check up on your MP and see what their voting record is like. This website does a brief, over, um, a brief overhaul. See, lovely, brief overhaul. And if you wanna know more details about the things that they actually voted on, for example, um, okay, the welfare consistently voted to reduce housing benefits. Um, you can go show votes and it will give you um, a lot more detail on that actual vote. It's a brilliant site to fact check what your politician is actually saying and doing. I hope, I urge, I really do urge everyone in um, a local election area on May the 2nd to get out and vote. Voting is important. Who you choose to put in power affects not just the area you're in, but the whole damn country. Doesn't matter if you like Labour, doesn't matter if you like the SNP, there's issues with all of them. But since 2010, we have seen consistently the Conservatives disgust for everyone who isn't born wealthy. They're disgust for the environment, they're disgust for um, public services, they're disgust for public sectors, they're disgust for the UK as they only seek to enrich themselves and their buddies. So please, on May the 2nd, get out and vote. It is so important. Being said, enjoy the rest of your day.